Russia says yesterday's U.S. missile strike on a Syrian air base violates international law, calling it an act of aggression against a sovereign state. President Trump gave the go-ahead for the strikes in retaliation for this week's deadly sarin gas chemical attack in Syria, which the U.S. says was ordered by Syrian President Bashar Assad. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says Russia's response shows it continues to support the Syrian president. The Kremlin said 23 of 59 cruise missiles reached the airbase, leaving the runway intact. One critic of the airstrikes is Hawaii Congressman Tulsi Gabbard. Howard Dashevsky follows up. Howard? Well, Joe, shortly after the missile launch yesterday, Gabbard released a statement saying the military action was short-sighted and will lead to more civilian deaths and a possible nuclear war between the United States and Russia. Well, today she wasn't backing down from her stance, saying that President Trump's decision to escalate a counterproductive war is harmful for the Syrian people, for the United States, and for our national security interests. She also says the U.S. needs to learn from past lessons, referring to the wars in both Iraq and Afghanistan. And finally, she calls yesterday's military action both illegal and unconstitutional, and that the president did not seek congressional approval. We must be fighting to bring an end to this regime change war that has cost hundreds of thousands of Syrian lives, uh, millions of refugees who have been forced to flee their homes, uh, and that has actually strengthened terrorist groups like Al-Qaeda and ISIS in Syria. Gabbard has been a staunch critic of U.S. policy in Syria, saying the U.S. is providing money, arms, and intelligence to armed militants within Syria who she says are allied with and often under the command of terrorist groups, including al-Qaeda. Gabbard also says she's not convinced that Syrian leader Bashar Assad's regime was behind the chemical weapons attacks, saying that finger-pointing for now doesn't bring peace. Gabbard, you may recall, came under fire from both Republicans and Democrats earlier this year in January for a decision to meet with Assad in Syria. Joe?